Andrew Cohen, and I'm the author of the new book that's just come out by JICO called Evolutionary Enlightenment. And this is new, my new book. It's also just been released in America, and I'm very uh, happy and proud to be able to read you uh, the prologue from the book to give you a sense uh, of what it's about. This is called A Longing to Evolve. Why do some of us seek higher truths? Why is it that certain individuals are driven blindly, madly, and passionately to transcend their own limitations? Why do we, at times, feel compelled to improve ourselves, not only for our own sake, but for the sake of a higher cause that we can sense yet barely see? Why is it that in those precious moments when we are most conscious and most awake, we seem to intuit a deeper sense of purpose that is infinitely bigger than our personal worlds can contain? Why is it that soft vibrations that tug at our hearts and beckons us to, to courageously leap beyond the small confines of the separate self so that we can participate in the life process at a much deeper and more authentic way? That vibration is none other than the spiritual impulse, the impulse to evolve at the level of consciousness. It could, be that, it could be that same impulse that caused you to pick up this book and, no doubt, that compelled me to write it. And it's not just a feeling that you or I might have. This impulse is something much bigger. In fact, I believe it is that very same impulse that caused something to come from nothing 14 billion years ago that compelled an entire material universe to miraculously emerge from complete emptiness. To me, at least, there is no doubt that a great and mysterious energy and intelligence with enormous power is driving this entire evolutionary process forward in every moment. And our own direct personal experience of spiritual inspiration is the most tangible expression of that very same drive. Since that inspiration first awoke in me more than three decades ago, it has taken me on an extraordinary journey. And during this time, I have discovered something very important that few people seem to know. The spiritual impulse moves in two directions simultaneously. If we follow one direction, it will carry us far into the distant future. And if we follow the other, it will take us back to before the beginning of time. The path that most mystics in the Enlightenment tradition have taken is not the future-oriented one. It is the perennial meditative path that countless seekers have followed for millennia in pursuit of spiritual illumination. And this traditional approach is not future-oriented. It is not time-oriented at all. Traditional enlightenment points us beyond the world, beyond time and space, toward what has been the perennial source, at least till now, of spiritual freedom and mystical liberation, the ground of being. But I believe that those of us in the 21st century at the leading edge of consciousness and culture urgently need a mystical spirituality and a source of soul liberation that points us not beyond time, but toward the future that we need to create. I believe the spiritual impulse today is calling us not away from the world, but toward that big next step that we need to take in our world. That next step will not emerge by itself. It must be consciously created by human beings who have awakened, at the same, who have awakened to the same impulse that is driving the process. Awakening to that energy and intelligence is what this book is all about, because this is the source of the new enlightenment. There is so much that I want to tell you about this new enlightenment, but before I do, I need, need to tell you a little bit about the traditional one. It is, after all, the foundation for everything I'm about to describe. Its territory is subtle and profound and can be easily misunderstood, but it's worth making the effort to try to truly understand enlightenment because within its mysteries we can find some of the most important and liberating truths that human beings have ever discovered. That's why the opening chapters are dedicated wholeheartedly to, trans to transmitting the experience of traditional enlightenment. They aspire to convey through the written word the actual state of consciousness and liberating perspective that emerges when we follow the spiritual impulse all the way back to before the beginning of time and transcend the mind, ego, and world in a dramatic way. But once we have arrived there and tasted the primordial freedom that has been the goal of mystics throughout the ages, like many people at our unique time in history, we will find ourselves compelled not to rest there, but to re-enter the fray of the creative process. And this spiritual rebirth, as the evolutionary impulse embodied in human form, is what the majority of this book 
and the teaching of evolutionary enlightenment is all about. Thank you very much.